tap tap eat for you guys kind of obviously started as, as as most businesses do right so it's kind of a side hustle and and for some of you it still is right you can know it's kind of your thing uh so before we get into like food and tech how do you like how do you get like where, where does your like passion for tech and food begin where does that come from um boy i don't know uh, my passion is probably more more tech than food, mm-hmm. although it's it's evolved. You know, as yeah. we've grown our clients and we've gotten to know you know different business owners and stuff, uh, uh, the the food side is coming on. But no, I was I was caught up in kind of a big oil and gas downturn okay. in 2015, 2016, 2017, somewhere in there. Uh, working at Kimray Oil and Gas, and um, and people were getting laid off left and right, and yeah. you know I I kind of at the second layoff process I was like man what what I wouldn't give for three months severance to try some new idea uh, because I was kind of tired of getting dragged around you know the ups and downs of oil and gas um and so I, I, you know, I had some technical skill mm-hmm. and just kind of the wheels started turning and then uh, was running one day with Sam. Uh, Sam Sam and I ran together uh, a lot years ago, mm-hmm. but we, we were still trying to, to uh, beat each other on the track. <laughs> uh, and, you know, we just were chatting and, yeah. and our, our skill sets just combined to form one full skill set. I guess we're kind of two halves mm-hmm. of somebody who's, you know, maybe really talented. So we started talking. Talk and it's like, hey, I think we could do this. And I, I was um, not not nervous. Let's see, I was uh, so loosely attached at that point uh, to my job and where that career mm-hmm. was going that it was like, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll do whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, perfect <laughs> yeah. opportunity to try something. Exactly, because right? exactly. it's either that or get another job. And like, yeah. this is the time that I like most people who stuck. Who some of people are stuck in nine to five jobs, right, or eight to six, or whatever it is, and they would love three months to go trial something. I wanted yeah. it. I didn't get laid off. Yeah. So we actually pitched our first uh, contract agreement um, and got it, mm-hmm. and I didn't get laid off. And so those first six months of working on, uh, you know, trying to get it to production were really yeah. spent from. You know, 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. The real time. start the life, real. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kids to bed, and now I'm going to work for as long as I can. That's exactly right. Yeah. And then wake up and go to work the next day. Yeah. yeah. Sam, what about you? Yeah, the, kind of that intersection between, you know, food and technology. Um, I, I, would, I would say... Uh, it almost seemed to be only afforded to these billion dollar companies mm-hmm. that could put together these you know IT technology teams or spend the money to make really slick applications yeah. work for their business and I um, you know running with Mark and I saw some of the stuff that he built for uh, um, Oklahoma Christian and the the team that we coached together there mm-hmm. I knew he had the skill set on the front end and uh, uh, where I come from I, I had the skill set kind of on the infrastructure on the back end I was like oh sure you know he approached me and I was like well, this is fun I've kind of always wanted to develop because I've been mainly focused on infrastructure yeah and so I got to be able to throw in with him and uh, do some development work and you know been having a blast uh, yeah. I still kind of do tap tap beat on the side and and Mark still does it, you know, full time. Um, yeah. uh, but what we essentially wanted to do is be able to offer that technology to, you know, small and medium sized restaurants mm-hmm. uh, to be able to kind of compete with the big dogs. Um, and that's why it, kind of where it, it intersected, where it came from. Yeah. And, and, and it was always centered around ordering food then? Uh, yeah, always. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, I, uh, every morning when I would drive to Kimray to work, um, I would literally be brushing my teeth and ordering my Starbucks coffee at the same time because I didn't want to waste a second of right. sleep. Yeah, yeah so of it just kind of dawned on me. Um, there were other companies kind of doing this, but it was not prevalent, especially in the Oklahoma City area at that mm-hmm. time, 20, 2016. And I just thought, I, I could build this. I need restaurants to you know, yeah. partner with, but I could build them something good. Yeah, um, I just need to just need to try. So. Yeah, and then like I said, you need to pitch somebody, right? And once you have it set up, and that person says yes, you're like, oh, oh shoot, <laughs> <laughs> this is actually happening now. Like we have a business now, yeah. right? You're like it's all great, and then it's all an idea until someone says, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Yeah. And and, it, and it's great that it's free to them, right, isn't it? And the whole system, is, it's free to them until they get an order through it and then it comes through that way, which it's brilliant. It's no-brainer for them because it's, you know, all the work and the, all the initial work's on your end, isn't it? And mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. 